there's a really great philosopher. This is uh, this is my maybe my one and only grand tribute to Peter Thiel, but he he is um, he's a huge supporter of a philosopher named Rene Girard, and uh, uh, I agree with a lot of uh, a lot of that. Uh, a, a, a lot of Rene Girard's philosophies, and basically, it's called mimetic theory. And the idea is, you're born without preferences, and then you kind of just copy what's around you. And so, what the other person wants is what you want, and that's what ultimately leads to a lot of conflict. And the only way to resolve conflict is is with a huge, grand sacrifice of some kind. Okay. Um, and if you think about it here, if you're going to really put, you know, cancel culture, if you're going to kill it. There needs to be some just massive escalation and conflict around this idea that allows us to resolve it in one way or the other, in one direction or the other. And I don't think this is it. I think it's not big enough, quite honestly. I think it's a little bit sort of like, you know, there's folks like us that love comedy um, and we're willing to keep it in a very strict box, which is let people say what they're going to say, be shocked with it and don't take it onto yourself and don't, you know, and go and reflect it into the world. It's entertainment and you can, you know, it's like I choose not to watch um, violent stuff because I don't like it. I find it, I find it very offensive or, um, you know, I don't play first person shooters. I find it really unsettling. You know, Grand Theft Auto, I found it really outrageous. Uh, and other people will feel like that about Chappelle. My whole thing is we should all be allowed to make those judgments because I think we're all still pretty rational people at the end of the day and do the right thing in the normal world. But this isn't the thing that's going to get this uh, issue to be resolved. So I don't know how it comes. There needs to be some huge escalation around this thing. I suspect what happens is it actually just uh, dissipates and goes away. And the reason is because everybody who's much younger than us has such a huge digital footprint that they've created through their mm, whole they're lives. At risk. There is so much shit that's out oh, there. Oh, God, yes. That they just have no choice but to let everybody else off the hook. We, we are in a very different situation because we were doing some fucking shady stuff, always on the down low, Whoa. always hidden. Whoa, easy there. <laughs> yeah, but that, that's how it was. We if were not, your, our, our if childhood you were, in your were 40s, largely anonymous. Yeah. You would, you would roll deep and you would just, you would pretend you would not, you know, and now the culture is very different. And I think with that comes a lot of acceptance. Every, you know, every kid at some point may or may not be on Tinder, Bumble, Rhea, you know, grinder, whatever. So there's going to be a body of that content that's up. Every kid will have said something crazy, you know, on TikTok. And all of this stuff will be there. And so you'll have a choice, which is if you're going to hold me accountable, I'm going to hold you accountable. And so it's mutually assured destruction. And I think that's what causes cancel culture to go away in time. It's the last vestige of very guilty people of our generation. 